Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you this super easy, classic winged liner, red lip, super easy to do look. So if you wanna see how I got this, then keep on watching. I have a couple blemishes, so I am just gonna take our foundation and put a little tiny bit on my finger and then just pat those on the areas that I want coverage. And once our foundation sets in place, it doesn't move. So I like to apply this first. I'm gonna let them sit, start to set, and then I'll blend out the edges in just a minute. But I'm gonna go in and do my eye makeup, and when I come back to do my face makeup, it'll be set in place and my blemishes will be totally covered. So I like to do this first before I start. Starting with the eyes, I'm going to apply Candlelight Shadow Sense, like I always do, underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles. And I'm just going to use my finger to blend that out. Next, I'm going to take Sandstone Pearl Shadow Sense. I'm just applying that all over my lids to give my lids a base to help cancel out any veins and redness and to make my shadow last longer. So I'm just going to use my fingers to blend this out. Okay, I want a really warm transition shade, and so instead of using Shadow Sense, I'm going to use our Blush Sense in the shade Bronze, because it's a really warm brown, so it'll give me that nice warm transition shade. And I'm going to use the Sigma E35 blending brush to blend that out. I want a really bright base for my lid color and the sandstone pearl just wasn't enough and so I mixed our natural translucent powder with a little bit of white concealer on a palette and I'm mixing that up with a flat shader brush and it's creating like a, it's more of like a concealer texture but I'm going to pat that on my lid and then I'm going to set it with our natural powder and it's going to create a really bright lid that's matte and going to stay in place. And it's also, I'm also going to do a slight cut crease, meaning I'm going to line my entire lid with this and it's going to kind of cut into the crease and make a really sharp, like defined um, break between my lid and my crease. Okay, so there it is applied. I'm, I want to keep my eyes closed so it doesn't transfer up on my lid. And I'm going to take the uh, L'Oreal sponge with a little bit of the natural powder. And I'm going to pack that onto my lid. It's going to bake it into place and make it really matte. So I packed a ton on there, but I will be wiping it away in just a sec once it's set in place. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just brush the powder away. Then I'm going to go back into the bronze blush scents with the fluffy brush so I can blend out the edges. 
para a mancha pequenem as asas e ela fica cada vez mais fraca e a cura que procura só empurra a faca quando vale uma fatura paga quando desaparece a mágoa que lhe partiu a asa Now I'm dipping a flat shader brush back into that natural powder and I'm going to tack it on again. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of Mocha Java on this smaller fluffy brush. It's the Morphe E17. Just a tiny bit of Mocha Java and I'm going to run this directly into my crease to blend the two colors together and to make it a tiny bit darker. I'm using such a light hand. Lip Volumizer. I always love to put it on my lips while I'm doing my eye makeup. I forgot at the beginning of this video, but I love to let it sit on my lips while I do my eyes. And then at the end, I will take it off right before I apply my lip scent. And my lips are so soft, so hydrated. I've noticed, like, I've definitely noticed some plumpness from it. The main event of this video <laughs> is the winged liner. I love a good strong black winged liner and that's kind of the whole point of this video. So I'm going to be using our black eye scent but I'm also going to use some shadow scent. So I'll show you how I do these together. The reason I like to use both of them is because the black eye scent is going to give you that like super dark rich um, just like insanely dark pigment but it it doesn't dry down like totally 100% matte. It kind of has a little sheen to it. So I like to top it off with the Onyx Shadow Sense to give it a completely matte look. I'm going to start with my wing, draw exactly where I want it. Okay, so there's the liner with the eye sense. As you can see, it's a little bit shiny. Um, it's totally dry, but it just doesn't give that super intense matte. And so I am going to go over it with the Onyx Shadow Sense and, and a small eyeliner brush. This is the Sigma E10 brush. And I'm just going to go right over top of it to make it completely matte. And I've also found that when I apply false lashes, they actually stick better to the Onyx than they do to the eye sense. So I like to do this when I'm wearing false lashes as well. Okay, next I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply some of our black lash Negri avarente, tu quer comer por dentro 
For lashes today, I'm gonna use the style Glare by Vixen Lashes. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite brand of lashes. I own every single pair that they have and they are all beautiful. But I love these Glare ones because they're like bunched at the bottom and then really wispy at the top. So they're gonna give me like a really full, intense lash line and then the ends are gonna be really wispy and pretty. I'm using the Socialized Lash Tweezer and then the House of Lashes Lash Glue. Okay, moving on to my face. I am going to first apply white concealer all underneath my eyes. I've actually been doing this prior to my foundation and I like it better, especially when I'm not going for a super harsh under eye highlight. So I'm gonna apply it directly to a damp sponge. This one is the L'Oreal one and I actually really like it. It's smaller than a regular makeup sponge and so it gets underneath my eyes really well. Ooh and it's pointed so it gets right up into the corners super super well so i'm just going to apply a little dot and dab that underneath my eyes and you definitely want to use this wet if you use it dry it totally soaks up all your precious product Next I'm going in with foundation and I am actually in between shades so I'm going to mix cream beige and dewy and what I love about our foundations do you guys see how clean this tube is so these containers are actually airless pumps so as it pumps the product out the bottom moves up and scrapes literally scrapes the product from the edges and so you get every single last drop of what you're paying for with this. There's literally no product that goes to waste. This tube, this is my dewy. It looks completely empty except you can see a tiny ring of dewy around the end and I can still get probably two pumps left of this. So I'm doing half a pump of dewy and then I'm going to do half a pump of cream beige on my, this is a Carity F27 flat top brush and I am applying that all over my face. All right, going back to the bronze blush scents, I'm going to use that to warm up the perimeters of my face. I'm gonna apply it on a Real Techniques buffing brush. Just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to top where I applied all the bronzer with some bronze dust powder. For blush, I'm going to mix pouty pink and cherry blush to give me a really pretty youthful pink on my cheeks. Cherry is just a little too much for me, so I like to tone it down with the powder. And I'm going to use a Real Technique stippling brush to apply that. Curlizer on my cheekbones for some highlight. I just like to use my finger to apply this. Also like to put it above my brows, right above that high point for a nice lifted brow look. And down my nose. And on the tip of my nose. For this look, I want my under eyes to look very clean and bright. 
which is totally against what I'm used to. Normally I will run Mocha Java underneath my lashes, but for this, I'm going to keep it very bright and awake. So I'm going to dip this same brush that I used to pack on the powder on my lids. I'm going to dip it back into natural powder and press it underneath my eyes. I'm gonna sharpen up my brows with some Mocha Java Shadow Sense. I'm just combing them out with a spoolie. And then I'm gonna take a flat top brush. This one is a Morphe M432. Dipping that into the Mocha Java. And I'm just covering my blonde hairs right now. I really need to get my brows tinted. I'm just gonna cover the blonde hairs and then I'm gonna sharpen up underneath. I'm going to take some pearlizer on a little tiny pencil brush. I'm going to apply it to my inner corners. Okay, that pearlizer was not as bright as I wanted it to be, so I'm actually going to take snow shadow scents on that little brush and apply that to my inner corners. Then I'm taking pearlizer on top of that. I want to brighten up my eyes even more, so I'm going to take sandstone pearl on a little tiny flat brush and I'm going to put it on my waterline. Gonna pop on some black mascara on my lower lashes. And to finish off the look, I'm going to be using Fly Girl Lip Scents. It's like our truest, truest red. And then some matte gloss. Mentira, não merece. 
com rastro na estima Nem todas as palavras guardadas Apaga, vira a página A vida escapa e eles temem fadas aladas Apontam para a mancha por querem as árvores E ela fica cada vez mais fraca E a cura que procura só empurra a faca Quanto vale uma fatura paga Quando desaparece a mágoa que lhe partiu a asa Nunca mais diga seu preço Nunca mais diga seu aguento esse preço Negrinha parente que se quer comer por dentro Eles querem fechar por fora Porque até meia hora em frota Acorda, esse é o brilho imenso Intenso, ardente, pulsante, violento Ignora a chuva cá fora Tu tens o sol no firmamento There you go. That is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this classic winged liner and red lip. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos. And I will talk to you guys next time. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to... Nope. Cut.